Hello all, welcome back. Today I'm just going to quickly give you a little help here with uh, setting up an Xbox controller for uh, Windows if you want to play uh, games like I've got that. So I want to play that and use my controller and you need the uh, wireless dongle. So this is if you want to use the wireless remote with Windows. Uh, today we'll be dealing with Windows 8. Um, however, it does. this is the same process you're going to use on 7 and I imagine uh, earlier versions. But uh, So first thing first is plug in your dongle. Um, wingo dingo dango dingo. That was just me screwing around. It's okay though. Um, so get that and then you got to have your controller. Obviously I can just set the controller aside. And what we're going to do is we're going to come into, uh, when you plug it in, nothing's going to happen or it's going to come up as an error occurred and it couldn't install so you'll see my uh, device right there if I can focus unknown device so now I'm going to come to it and right click and update driver okay so if you want to search automatically I'll show you just quickly it's going to fail it won't work um, it'll just say couldn't do it um, which leaves most people baffled because they're like, well, what the hell, it's a Microsoft controller. And this is a Microsoft dongle. So, um, okay, so that's no good. You're like, that doesn't work. But here, actually, I can show you how to do it. It's stupidly easy, but it's stupid that it doesn't work in the first place, so whatever. So browse my computer, and then let me pick. And then... Just follow along, let's go right down to the bottom, and it's right there. It's actually on the freaking computer, so why it didn't know that, I don't know. And there's your options right there, sorry. And so I'm going to go for this one. This would be if you had the wired one, would be the top one. And... That's, I guess, if you want to charge, if you want to plug in the wireless with the cable, maybe. I'm not really sure. But uh, I prefer just using my wireless one. Click Next. It'll give you a warning saying that it doesn't recommend, because it can't verify that it's compatible, even though it is all Microsoft software, hardware. Um, that's it. Successfully updated your driver and that is all you needed to do it was really that simple now that is actually connected and I can go ahead and I can play flight simulator or um, whatever Grand Theft Auto you can play whatever you want on uh, with the Microsoft remote now so that's it hopefully it'll help somebody out because I know I had a real hell of a time figuring it out and I've read the forums and I see that a lot of people couldn't figure it out so um, enjoy and just kind of maybe wish you were sitting on that little island under that tr their tree drinking a corona or something think how nice that would be all right guys thanks for watching